Hi, Mark Spencer here from Ripple Training with some quick tips on how to use the RT Outline Fill Effect from the Ripple Tools Collection for Final Cut Pro 10. Here we are in Final Cut Pro 10. I'm in the Titles Browser. I have the Ripple Tools Collection selected, and here is the Outline Fill, RT Outline Fill Effect. The way this effect works is it requires a graphic or video that has transparency. So I'm gonna show you three little examples. First, we have uh, this still image, and this is a PNG, a .png file that has a transparent background. I can show you that it's transparent by turning on this connected clip behind it. I'll tap the V key to enable it, so you can see that we can see that clip beneath it, so we know this clip has transparency. I'll tap the V key to turn that off again. I'll also tap the X key to set a range for this clip, select RT Outline Fill and press Q, to uh, add it on top of that clip. Then I'll select it. And we can see right away that it immediately creates an outline around uh, any object that has transparency, which is pretty awesome. If we go to the title inspector, we've got some controls to uh, change how it looks. So first off are some quick tips that you can turn on that gives you information about how to use it. I'll turn that back off. Uh, the first checkbox after that lets you show the outline or not, so you can hide it or show it. Uh, that makes more sense in a minute. You can change the thickness of the inner and outer edge. Now, doing this, they're a little blocky, so you don't want to get real thick because it's kind of a blocky look. I'll undo that, or you can change the outer edge. If you get really thick, you can see it's, it's not very smooth, but it can, it's kind of a blocky look. So generally, I like these pretty, uh, pretty thin. You can change the outline color to anything that you want. And you can add this thing called Neon Glow. Now, if you enable Neon Glow, Sometimes it can make sense to make the edge a little thicker because it kind of gives it a nice kind of neon look to it. So that might be one way you'd want to use that. Let me bring this back down to one. After that, we can bring the original image back in. We can drag the original opacity uh, all the way back up. Uh, and then we could turn off outline and we're back with the original image or we just have an outline around that image or perhaps make it glow a little bit. If you do make it glow, it makes the image glow as well. So uh, if you didn't want to do that, you'd composite that same image on top of itself again. But we can just have the image with an outline. Make that white again so it's a little more obvious. You can see the outline. Or um, instead of that, we can choose a fill instead of the image. We can fill any solid color inside of there instead of the object. And the fill takes precedence over the original image. So it's, it's one or the other unless you drop the opacity down and then you can essentially, you know, tilt, tint the image a little bit by using that fill, fill in there. Uh, once the image is done, let's already give it a fill like this. If you want to add a background to it, you can enable the drop zone by clicking the checkbox. Then click the drop zone well and select a background. So I'll select this western town, which is kind of ridiculous, but you get the general idea. Apply clip. And we can have a background for the clip. Now, um, you might want to have a background that's in your project, and I want to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and select this again, and I'll X out the background and turn off the background, the little drop zone there, and I'll enable this blue generator that's behind this clip. And in fact, because that generator is blue, let's go ahead and make this clip filled with a different color just so it's very clear what's going on. Um, if I enable this again by tapping the V key, we get this big red uh, image here. And what's going on is that this title, like all title effects, is applied to everything below it. So it's including this background clip, this generator, which doesn't have transparency. So we just get a fill over everything. If I take the fill opacity down, we get nothing at all. So the way to handle this, if you want to include something that's in the project, there's two ways to do this. One is to take this and get it up into the event. And a quick way to do that is simply you know, connect what you want. Let's say it's this, or let's say, here, let's even do this. I'll delete that. Let's say it's this kind of grid, uh, kind of industrial-looking background. If I want that to be included, one thing I can do is go to the File menu and say, New Compound Clip, and I'll just call it Industrial, which adds it to uh, my event. So that's a way to get it into the event. It's located. There it is. So now... What I want to do is I'll disable it in the project, select RT Outline Fill, enable the drop zone, and add it that way. Okay, so that's one option if you want to get something that isn't in your event browser into your event browser. So that's one thing you can do. Here's something else you can do just to give you another option. 
Let me select this again and get rid of that and turn off the drop zone. If you really want the background itself to be included, what you can do is select both the RT Outline Fill title effect and the clip with transparency, choose File, New Compound Clip, and put them into a compound clip. And let's just call it uh, Shopping. And what that will do, you can see immediately, it does place this into the event, but I don't care about that here. Because I've collected them together, the RT Outline Fill effect only affects that one clip, and now we can see the background there. The disadvantage of this approach is if you want to make adjustments, you need to double click to open up that compound clip and then work on it in here, and then you can press the left arrow to come back out. So I'm going to select this and choose clip, break apart clip items to get back to where we were and just get rid of that background. So there's some few options. Use a drop zone, uh, put something in the timeline into your project to add to the drop zone, or just use a compound clip. Now, this works just as well on clips that you create transparency instead of them already having transparency. So for example, uh, I have a clip here which you can see is a green screen clip. And if I put my playhead over it, um, right away it worked, which is a little bit of a cheat. So let me disable the effect for a minute. Uh, I already have the keyer effect applied. Let me turn off the keyer effect. So this is a, uh, a still image on a green background, and I've applied the keyer effect, which you can find if you go to the effects browser and to keying, you can find the keyer effect. And depending on your on your object, you might want to use a luma keyer, uh, but even if you're just keying out a light or dark background, I would still use the keyer effect. It generally works better than the luma keyer. But I've applied the keyer effect to this clip, so if I enable it, and sometimes you may need just a settings, it's beyond the scope of this tutorial to get a good key, but once you have a good key, and you put the RT outline fill on top, I'll enable it, uh, works great. There we go, absolutely perfect. Uh, the same thing works with video. So here, let me command minus to zoom out a little bit. I have this clip of an elephant. And again, let me turn off the keyer. Uh, this elephant on a green background. And if I key him out, I've got a transparent background. If I put RT outline fill on top, and let's just extend it for the duration of the clip, this now works uh, for video as well. So. Uh, you really you need a good key for this to work well. If the key is not good, it won't work. You need very good transparency behind it. So uh, it, it is dependent on your key, but if you've got a good key or any clips with transparency like uh, graphics with a PNG format, something that supports transparency like PNG or TIFF or PSDs, uh, RT Outline Fill will work and do the job for you. So I hope that's helpful, and thank you for watching.